Kia ora team, today we're going to be looking at some transaction analysis from the term to examination and trying to work out where most of us made pretty simple mistakes. Okay, so the question starts off with Dooley has decided to start his own coffee company called Dooley's Coffee. He supplies you with the following balances as at March 1st. Okay, so we've got property and equipment up here of 760,000, expenses are zero, bank overdraft is 12,000, accounts receivable zero, mortgage 200,000, capital is question mark, and it says you need to calculate this in income. Part A says you are required to fill in the balances on the transaction table, which is on the next page, um, and you need to calculate capital. So we can do that straight away. So we know capital in this case is going to equal our assets minus our liabilities because that's our simple way accounting equation. So it's going to be 760,000, which is our assets, minus our 12,000, minus our 200,000. And as you can see there, that would equal 500. And 48,000. Okie dokie. So now we can take that to the next stage and put that into our transaction table on the next page. So on the next page, there was this document here, and you basically needed to fill in the blanks. And I'll get these side by side for you so we can see both of them. Perfect. So our capital, we can start off by putting five, four, eight, zero, zero, zero in there. Okay. And we know income was zero. We know the mortgage was two hundred thousand. Bank was twelve thousand. Accounts receivable was zero. Expenses was zero, and property, plant, and equipment was. And as we can see, that top row. Now the left-hand side where my pen is now equals the right-hand side, which is over there. Perfect. So now we're going to move on to the actual hard bit of this whole thing, which was actually working out what these transactions actually mean. So if we look at transaction one, we've got cash purchases. And remember cash, so if we're looking down here, cash purchases of 2000 if we circle cash, we know straight away alarm bells should go off that we are looking at bank. So our first account we're going to touch is bank. So 2000 into bank. And the next account is purchases. And purchases in this example comes under expenses. And we know expenses are going up, so that can stay as 2000 and because bank is on the wrong side of the equation in terms of it's an overdraft bank is actually going to increase because we've spent more money question two sold an old vehicle that originally cost 30,000 for 600 cash so this is part two down here the tenth sold a vehicle originally costing 30,000 for 6,000 cash. So, again, cash. Straight away we know we're involving the bank. So the bank's gonna go down by 6,000, and I'll explain why it's down very shortly. And we know 30,000 is coming out of property, plant, and equipment. But as we can see, gents, these two sides do not, do not match and they do not make sense currently, okay? Because 30,000 comes out of the left hand side and only 6,000 comes out of the other side. So we call this a loss on sale. And so 24,000 needs to come into expenses. Just remember the bank account's going up in this case. So it's going to be negative 6,000 because we owe the bank less money in this case. Number 12. We paid insurance of 2000 by internet banking. Okay, So internet banking is an automatic payment from our bank account. So 
So again, we can chuck 2,000 straight away into our bank. And insurance is an expense. So that's going to come into this column here. Okay. This next one was a bit more tricky. And we'll talk through it. So Dooley took coffee home for personal consumption. Okay, so we're down here. Dooley took coffee home for personal consumption. And the cost price was $40. The selling price was $80. In this example, the selling price is redundant because we have never sold it. Okay, so we can actually cross that bit out. It is not needed. So now we know this is drawing. Okay, so that's going to be negative 40 in the capital account, which is over there. But the other account, where does this other 40 come from? It comes from expenses because it comes part of purchases. So it's a purchase that we made that is no longer applicable to the business. So it's going to be negative 40 in that account. On the 18th, we sold coffee beans on credit. Massive word there, on credit. To Backstreet Cafe for 6,000. So we sold something. So sales. We know sales is an income. Okay, so that's going to come under income. Or it's not going to be negative, it's going to be positive. Okay. And the other one we go to is sales. And we've done it on credit. Remember, that's a key word. So it's going to be accounts receivable because they have not paid for it yet. We paid an installment of mortgage of 1,000 off the principal and 250 off interest. This is a quite tough one. So we're down here at question 24. Paid installment of mortgage, 1,000 off the principal and 250 off interest, okay? So the total bill comes to $1,250, okay? And that's gonna come into the bank account and we owe the bank more money, so that's gonna increase. Then a thousand is going to come off the mortgage. And the principal is another way of saying, uh, the interest is another way of saying interest expense. So it's going to come into here. Number 26, took Dooley a thousand, Dooley took a thousand from business bank account to help him pay for a holiday to Queenstown. And so that is number 26 that we are doing now. So Dooley took $1,000 for the business. We know straight away as, he, as we say took, it must come out of capital. And in this case, he's taken it out of the bank account. So we're going to owe the bank more money. On the 28th, we received a direct payment from Backstreet Cafe chain of $5,700 allow, after allowing a discount of $300. So the total bill here would have come to $6,000, okay? So we're going to remove that from the accounts receivable account. So we're going to bracket 6000 But in the bank account, only 5700 comes in. And the other 300 comes under discount allowed, which comes into the expenses account. Brought in, bought new furniture for the business office of $15,000 using uh, FPOS. So FPOS is an automatic payment. So that's going to be straight away $15,000 out of the bank and $15,000 into property, plant and equipment because we've bought something new. So our asset goes up. And we received rent from a tenant in a business premise paid directly into our business account. We rent received, okay, is an income of $400. And we've received it directly into our bank account. So the bank account's going to go up and we're going to owe the bank less money. So there's all our transactions as, as the... Uh, as the exam asked for. The other tricky bit here is to look for the, the totals in each account. 
And that's what we're gonna go through now in totaling these accounts and making sure we've absolutely nailed this question, okay? So as we can look at the right hand side, we come down, I always like to start with capital because I find it the easiest account to do because normally there's only a couple of transactions. So if we go five, four, six, 960 is in that account. So 584 minus the 40 minus the 1000 gets us to that nice figure there. Our, our income comes to 6400. Our mortgage. We've only had one transaction, so that's pretty straightforward as well. So this one comes to 21,150. That stays at zero because the two 6,000s cancel each other out. Okay. This account is 28,510 and 74500. Okay. So, and then question C, so we can bin this, we've done that side, we've done all those questions, so now we can just focus on the bottom of this exercise here, which we will focus in on now, okay? So the question at the bottom says, use the information above to calculate profit or loss made by Dooley in March. So remember profit equals income, less expenses so our income in this place is six thousand four hundred dollars minus our twenty eight five ten which equals a total of twenty two one one oh dollar sign and this is actually a loss okay and that kind of sums up this sort of transaction analysis. If you've got any other questions, um, please just enter them below and we will get back to you as quickly as possible. Uh, the next video we're going to be doing is on income statements, so please stick around.